All right, welcome here to 2019. It's a new year. Um, we've got only a few more weeks in this old building. We're shooting here in the basement of our, of our building on Deep Cove Road. Uh, pretty soon this building is going to come down and it's, it's been a good home for us. Uh, but one of the, the things we've kind of realized about this building is that there are lots of rats that like to make their home. What is that? Did you see that? It's a stuffed rat! <laughs> I don't know if you bought that. If you thought it was a real rat for a second, maybe, maybe just a little bit of belief. Um, looked like something was really moving and active, and in reality it's just a stuffed animal. Uh, but thanks to our uh, amazing assistant Jill here, pan to her, uh, it looked very realistic, at least I, I, I thought it did. Um, and that's actually, there's a segue here, there's a connection here to our passage from Mark chapter 11 where we were this past week at the Bridge Church, where Jesus first encounters a fig tree that is in full leaf, looks promising from a distance, but when he comes closer realizes that there's no fruit, there's nothing edible to eat. And then he goes into the temple and there's all this noise and activity and buying and selling and, and money exchanging. And it looks like everything is just functioning smoothly and Jesus walks in and he, and he judges it as fruitless, as lifeless. He overturns tables, stops anyone from coming through it. And what these two stories, that have confused plenty of people, what they have in common is that there's this thing that looks impressive from a distance, looks alive, looks active, but on closer inspection really is just dead. Uh, there's this appearance that doesn't, isn't actually backed up by the reality. And so at the end of the passage, Jesus talks about faith and he says, this is what you need to have. You need to have faith in God. He's the one who brings life. He's the one who makes things happen, not your appearance, not your busyness, not your activity. Um, and, and of course, there's an easy connection here with our lives, with the church as a whole, that oftentimes we look busy, we're, we're, we're noisy, we've got lots of things happening, but underneath it is just this, this absence of faith, this absence of real relationship, of trust with, with the Lord, um, there's this lifelessness. So my big question for you is, is just to, to, first of all, to challenge you to think about your life. Are there areas in which people might think that everything is together, but under the surface, there's actually decay? And how, how can you turn to the Lord in faith and, 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 and change that so that your life isn't just about appearance but that there's a there's a reality underneath that's actually alive that's actually vibrant that's actually bearing fruit um, in, in, in various ways so happy new year may your community groups be off to a great start and uh, as you as you reflect on this passage